Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and in the studio with me today is Joanne Williams, owner of On Point Legal Support Center and Professional Development Training. Excellent. Joanne, it is a pleasure to have you on the show. How are you doing? I'm great, Fran. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. You know, we have known each other for ages. Yes. And that's a positive <laughs> thing. Yes. And I met you when you were first starting your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Fantastic. It was an idea. Yes, it really was. Mm -hmm. I had an awesome time. Mm -hmm. So, um, so share with me, like I know, mm -hmm. but our guests may not know, how did you get started in that business? What was that significant moment that took you from the work you were doing to starting on that entrepreneurial journey? Well, I think the significant moment for me is when I realized that uh, On Point was actually a business, when it was actually launched and created. Um, On Point Legal Support Services, what we do is we provide um, virtual legal support to small law firms that can't afford a support staff. And in turn, we're saving them time and we're saving them money. We're saving them time because they don't have to train us. On point, we're already skilled, we already have the qualifications that we need, and so we can complete any assignment that the attorney sends us. We save them money because we're virtual. So we're working from a different location, there's no overhead expenses for them, and, uh, you know, again, um, we're part-time, so they don't have to offer us a competitive work salary. So we're meeting their need, right? Um, so we're, while we're meeting their needs, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're you're I mean, now I remember one time I was like, Joanne, I want you to go into this pitch contest. Yes. You've got one or two minutes, <laughs> and you are hitting it. Saving time, saving money, yes. virtual service for lawyers. Exactly. How did they find out about you? Well, it actually began as a favor. Mm -hmm. um, one of my attorneys, he was starting his own business and he needed some legal support. So he asked me to go with him. But uh, I couldn't go because he couldn't afford to pay the benefits. It wasn't really about the dollar. It was really about the benefit package. And so I said, well, what I can do is I can help you on the side. And so that's what happened. One assignment turned into many assignments. One client referral turned into many client referrals. And next thing you know, I have this business, right? Mm -hmm. um, one thing that started out from maybe doing something a couple of hours a week turned into a full work schedule. And now I'm going into this full upgrading system. I mean, no longer can I take that laptop and run to the bookstore and knock out a few assignments. Um, I had to definitely, you know, get a home office going. I had to upgrade my equipment, get rid of the laptop and really get a, a desktop. So as I'm going through these changes, um, you know, the servicemen coming in and everyone's moving around and they're asking me all these business questions. And then that's when it hit me. I'm saying, oh my goodness, this is actually a business. I'm actually meeting a need here. You know, I'm meeting a need and I'm getting an income from it. And that's when On Point was actually launched and all from a favor. So from doing a favor for someone to actually having a business. And it's fantastic. Wow. That, that journey for a lot of people, it's the, the challenge is how do I go from having a hobby to a business? <laughs> and what yes. I love is you have done a wonderful twist, a favor, because you proved your concept. Mm -hmm. um, someone asked you to help them solve their pain. Yes. So when lawyers come to you, what kind of work do you end up doing knowing that you can be virtual support? Are there certain kinds of contracts or certain types of lawyers that contact you? Yes, um, I try to stay with uh, civil work. Anything mm -hmm. from personal injury, uh, litigation, um, no criminal work. I, I just don't have the heart for it. So okay. it has to stay business, you know, something <laughs> that, I, that I can sleep at night. Mm -hmm. And um, it even goes into organizations sometimes, just helping them keep their schedule, you know, because uh, their attention goes to the client. And so they don't have time to worry about deadlines and things like that. So, and I can do all that from a different location. Mm -hmm. I can keep their schedule going. I can complete their work on I can draft a, a complaint or an opinion, whatever it is that they need. I can do that from another location. And so I, I, that's what I do, you know, straight from my home. And then I send it to them. And one thing, the attorneys that I look for, they have to be a little techie. They, okay. um, you know, we can't do a whole lot of back and forth. There's no time for that. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> You know, you almost talk like a lawyer. I can tell time is money because you're like, chop, 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 you know. So um, once I give you the assignment, everything's done by, you know, electronic submittals, uh, the attorney will need to 
be able to pull it up and make mm -hmm. whatever corrections that he needs to make or add whatever he needs to make. Mm -hmm. And so from there, we have a, a very good relationship. Mm, wow. Yeah, I love it. I can tell. I, <laughs> I can do. tell. Significant business. Tell me about some results that you're really proud of. Well, um, I do have a few. Um, one that I'll speak about is we started out as a virtual legal support center, right? And now we moved into professional development training. Mm -hmm. And how I came into that is because I noticed that now that folks are retiring and they're working less hours, um, companies, they can't afford to replace that retired person. Mm -hmm. So they begin to hire from within, right? They promote folks, they raise folks up, mm -hmm. and the person that's being promoted is usually someone that's been with the company for a long time. You know, they have the company's vision, they're hardworking, so they say, hey, we'll raise you up. But, um, and that's a great thing because now this promoted person, they have a salary, you know, a new mm -hmm. salary, mm -hmm. they have some responsibilities, you're building office morale, and that's awesome. But the other side to that is, um, with promotion comes great responsibility. Yes, You know, yes. they're doing their job, what they're used to, so they're in that comfort zone, but now they're wearing several other hats now, and they have other responsibilities. So those other responsibilities can be anything from uh, leadership skills, could be building relationships, co collaborating with others, you know, and um, that's something that most folks that's being promoted, they're not really trained to do that yet. They're just trained in one area. So that's where On Point comes in. We come in and we persuade the employers to say, hey, invest in your team. You know, build them up, give them some training, because it's awesome to save money. You're saving money because you're not replacing this person. Mm -hmm. But if you're not being productive, you know, then why do it? You're going to be stagnant. Mm -hmm. So let's have the best of both worlds, mm -hmm. promote your people, and then bring us in so that we can develop them professionally, right? Excellent. So the second thing is um, professional development is a huge market now. Everyone's getting yes, into it, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Lots of competition. So what you know, going back to the business class, what's your competitive advantage in the right. marketplace? So what I like about our competitive advantage is um, we are a Christian-based company, mm -hmm. and we base our services on the word, right? Mm -hmm. And so that means that um, we have to treat our clients well. We stand out from amongst the rest because we put our clients first. Um, we treat them well. Um, we let them know that no matter what's going on, uh, we're going to do the best that we can for them so that they can be rest assured that their business is in good hands. Because as I mentioned earlier about referrals, our services, we're built on referrals. Mm -hmm. So our relationships, we have to be successful with our relationships. Mm -hmm. A referral can make or break you. Right. And I don't want to get broke. I, wa I want to <laughs> stay right there in line. I, I want everyone calling out on point, on point. So okay. um, our, our and the whole name, the full name, not just on point. Because if they point. Google on point, they might get lots of folks. What is it? On point, point. legal support center and right. professional development training. I know it's a it's a it's a lot, but um, we cover a lot of things. So that's a good comeback. <laughs> that's a good comeback. Yes. Well, those are those are great examples. You're clearly very passionate. What keeps you doing what you do? Well, I am passionate. Um, mm -hmm. I love my job. I love the services that we provide. And um, On Point is basically my story. Um, when I first started out uh, in the workforce, you know, I was raised old school, you know, you get that job, you keep your job, you know, you go to work on time, you be on time, and you put your best foot forward. Mm -hmm. And so that work ethic followed me. So I did stand out from, you know, other folks. Um, I was considered dependable, and, you know, you know she's going to come in, and she's going to do her best. But the other side to that was I really wasn't ready for an office setting, so um, folks considered me to be not polished. I was rough around the edges. You know, Ooh. some folks said that my body language came off as offensive because I was hyped and I was overly zealous, so they didn't really know how to take me. And I didn't know how to take that type of constructive criticism either <laughs> because, mm -hmm. you know, um, someone's saying these things and um, I wasn't ready to receive them. So I, I missed opportunities because I wasn't ready to receive it. I stayed the way that I was, and I missed some and some opportunities. Um, it wasn't until I became an adult learner that I realized, you know, hey, you may need some training. You may need so you may need to go to a class and take a netiquette class or take some networking classes, mm -hmm. take friends business class. You know, you may need these things so that you can move up. Mm -hmm. And so basically. Um, I committed myself to take the classes, I took them, and I reinvented myself. Mm -hmm. And the thing that happens is, and it still blows my mind, I reinvented myself so that I can fit into my own business. And this is my business. That's beautiful. <laughs> my, that's beautiful. 
beautiful. <laughs> you know? uh, that is going to be one of the quotes I put under this interview. Okay. You reinvented yourself so that you could fit into your own business. Yes. That's I, powerful. I, I had to, in order to communicate effectively with my clients, I don't want them to be offended because I'm so excited, mm -hmm. you know, I, I basically had to reinvent myself. So when you ask me how do I feel about it, I'm passionate. I'm also humble. I'm humble because I know where I started from. You know, I know where I started and I know the risk that I took in order to get where I am. And so though I'm still in the classrooms, I'm not in that audience anymore, but I'm mm -hmm. still in the classrooms. I'm teaching now, right. I'm facilitating. Mm -hmm. I'm able to tell folks, hey, just because someone gives you constructive feedback, don't let that hold you back. Don't be mm -hmm. a hard head like me and let it hold <laughs> you back. Embrace it, take what you need, throw the rest away. You know, um, make the commitment. Do what you need to do to bring your dreams into a reality. It's hard work. It you have to work, work on it every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't miss a moment. You have to be on everything. As I say, everything is chop, chop, chop. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. You're mm -hmm. actually bringing your dreams into a reality. And I can actually relate to the, you know, relate to the people. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> so I'm loving it. A little bit off script, but okay. imagine it's five years from now. Where is On Point? Where is Joanne? Well, I'm working on that right now. I'm hoping to actually um, bring On Point and professional development into a huge arena. I'm hoping that I can retire and just train folks and um, just teach them. I'm hoping um, that I can give back to the community to where I had a hard time getting office space and mm -hmm. having a hard time just getting people to do virtual and just think outside the box. So if I can um, set my business up where it's flowing and be able to hire more people, mm -hmm. give them a competitive work salary and also engage them to where they can move up in their level, I'm mm -hmm. satisfied because my business is still going on. Right. You know, right. I, I may not be out there every day teaching classes. Mm -hmm. I can still oversee them, mm -hmm. but it won't be me doing it. I'm hoping that I can just go out and reach out and connect with folks that are willing to come in and continue spreading um, virtu you know, uh, virtual legal support and professional development. I'm sure by then something else would have popped up and we'll be into <laughs> that too. But I, I just really want to be able to share with other folks. Well, you know, I want to help, I want to commit to help you doing that. Yeah. And um, because part of starting your business is having that vision to serve others. Mm -hmm. And many people have a lifestyle business. And then some people say, I want to grow and scale. Mm -hmm. And there's really specific steps you know, and now I'm doing the chop, chop, chop. Specific <laughs> steps <laughs> that are necessary for growth and scaling. Yes. And, you know, Michael Gerber talks about, um, you know, you can work in your business or on your business. Mm -hmm. And I hear that five years from now, you're really projecting that you're working on your business. Mm -hmm. There are others that are working with you and for you and for your clients and that you're able to then look out into the horizon for what's coming next. Yes. And that's really powerful. Yes, I'm great, loving it. Great story. Very <laughs> Thank significant. You. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. So how can folks find you, Joanne? Uh, they can find me on LinkedIn. My profile is there and I'm also putting out a uh, post every day, giving out blurbs and tips on LinkedIn um, at telling you one, um, what you can do to grow your business. They're just mm -hmm. small little tips, real short. Um, also, what professional development is. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Um, are you making a career plan? Um, are you thinking about where you are in five years? Right. Um, are you ready to take these steps? If you're not ready, this is what you do to get ready. So look for me on LinkedIn because definitely that's where all my information is going. I'm posting something every day. It's so hard because in order to post something every day, you need a new picture and a new graphic. <laughs> so, uh, you know, my, my brain, yes, my Technology. brain is going. My brain, <laughs> my brain is constantly moving so that I can re get out there and reach folks. But well, that's where you can definitely find me at. Well, clearly. You are helping people with continual learning and you are practicing it yourself. Yes, and every day. I feel the excitement. It's really been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank, thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Yes, to well, thank you for having step me. out of the virtual world into the one on one. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. This is fun. It, it was. Fun. I enjoy myself. I always enjoy my time yeah, with you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, I'm going to say to our audience this is what. Significant TV is all about significant stories from significant entrepreneurs like Joanne Williams, who you can find on LinkedIn. And as she says, if you connect with her on LinkedIn, you will see her postings every day, 365 days a year. Yes. Thanks, Joanne. A lot of postings. A pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.